Have you ever had a cough that just wouldn't go away? Or have you ever had a head tilt? <laughs> you didn't even know that you walked around like this. Or have you ever had a <laughs> breathing issue and you're like, what is my problem? Well, there are two very simple little activities that don't cost you a dime that I want to share with you that I have watched address all three of those issues and so much more. Hi, I'm Cheryl Townsley, naturopath and wisdom coach. You see, as a wisdom coach, it's not about how much you know. It's about knowing how to apply what's most beneficial for a person in the moment of life that they're currently in. And I want to also share with you a, a huge reservoir of resources, totally free to you. It's our YouTube site, CherylTownsleyTV.com. That's our YouTube site. And I wanna share a story that takes advantage of two videos on our YouTube site. So I'm gonna encourage you to follow me on, on YouTube, CherylTownsleyTV.com. And that way, as we post new videos, you have access to them absolutely at your fingertips. So let me share a story. Teenage boy comes in, um, dealing with a <coughs> deep, deep, deep cough. Been to the doctors, did an antibiotic. They don't know what's wrong. Antibiotics aren't working. And so they came kind of out as a last resort. Well, let's go see what Cheryl says. And so it was very interesting as I was looking at this individual, as they were shoulder down, head like this, feet like this, pupils were enormous. And I thought, hmm, there's some adrenal stress, and there's something going on with breathing, there's something going on with posture, um, but the eyes were the really, really big one. And so I did a couple of little things. One, I reset his eyes. Now, out on our YouTube site, there's a video on sparking, and I show how to do the vagus nerve and how to do the eyes. And when I'm testing the eyes, I just had him look at me, not move his head, and I just took a pen and had him follow the pen from side to side. And I asked him, how did that feel? And he said, well, it really jerked. And I said, great noticing. I said, that's exactly what happened, and I saw it. I said, the cool thing is you noticed it, because most people don't. So then I simply did a reset for his eyes, got them integrated in his brain, it's on the video in the sparking. And then I went back and took the pen, had him keep his head straight and have his eyes go back and forth. And he went, ah. I said, what? He said, it was so much smoother. I said, isn't that cool? He said, yeah, that's really cool. But I knew that wasn't the biggest issue. I just knew it was something that we could very easily address. What I wanted to do was see if we could do something that would actually get rid of his cough. Because I have seen some amazing, amazing things. I remember a little ballerina that came in with um, just sort of tremors, you know, like little shakes. Nobody knew what to do. Nobody could find anything wrong, but clearly... <laughs> that's not normal. I simply reset her vagus nerve. Again, um, let me give you a little bit of background. You have 12 cranial nerves here in, in the brain stem, um, cerebellum, this, this part of your brain. And they're like a big fuse box. And if any of those fuses have blown, it impacts circuits in your electrical nervous system. And the vagus nerve is by far the most important because it comes out of the brain stem, comes up into the brain. It comes down the neck, impacts tight neck, tight shoulders, breathing, and ends in the gut for digestion. Very, very important nerve. And with this person, what was interesting is when they were born, the cord was wrapped around the neck, pregnancy was difficult, the delivery was extremely difficult. And so this individual had basically been in fight or flight all their life. Pupils big, they can't shrink back to normal. And so I thought, let's just play. We're gonna do a couple of things, very simple. They can do it at home, let's see what happened. So we reset his eyes, we reset the vagus nerve. You can find out how by going out to our YouTube site, CherylTownsleyTV.com, search on sparking, and it tells you how to have someone do it to you or how you can do it to yourself. I also talk about that if you don't have a sparker, you can tap the locations that I spark. It's all on the video. So that made a difference, but I thought, 
Hmm, still has a cough, still has a really big pupils. So I had him do, we reset his startle reflex. That is another video on our YouTube site, how to reset startle. You see, if a birth was very traumatic, and or the pregnancy. If there is a major trauma or fall, what happens is the body gets caught in, and those are people that if you tend to touch them, they, they'll jump. Those are people that they don't want anybody coming up behind them. Um, if they hear a sound that would not bother anybody else, they have a reaction. That's being stuck in fight or flight. One of the other areas that I noticed it is when I handed him a pen, he went like this. <laughs> and I said, how do you write? And he doesn't just let the pen sit here and write. He uses every finger and just grips that pen. So I've seen that in numerous clients. That's another example of startle, where we expect there to be a threat at any point, any time, and we have to be prepared. Impacts every part of the body. It impacts digestion, your nervous system, your hormones, your brain, everything. So I said, let's reset startle. Again, it's on the video, but basically what you're gonna do is right hand over left, right leg over left, you curl up in a ball, and you extend your legs and your arms in a big X. Head goes back, eyes are able to go back, and the gasp is able to happen. Now, people who have been stuck in startle tend to do <laughs> no gas, head's not going to go back, arms aren't going to extend because they're like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. This requires safety and trust, and I'm going to be prepared for whatever is going to happen. So instead of doing it 10 times, which is ideal, I only did it three, but here's the exciting news. His cough completely went away. His eyes and pupils went back to normal, and he said, This is really weird. And I said, Well, what's going on? And he said, I think I'm calm. I've never felt this way before. So here's a teenager. His entire life has been like this, with an agitated vagus nerve, totally in startle, and eyes that can't move easily. That puts a huge demand on every part of your being, your body, your brain, your health. No supplement, no drug, no exercise, not even a perfect diet will address that because that's all being run by the neurology of the brain. We did three simple things. We reset his eyes, we reset his vagus, and we reset a portion of his startle and a complete change. So sometimes it's not about food, it's not about supplements, it's not about drugs, it's not about perfect exercise. Are all those things useful at times? Absolutely, but they don't replace helping your neurology. I wanna encourage you that there just might be something very simple that could help a chronic symptom that just won't go away in your life. I encourage you to go out to CherylTownsleyTV.com, follow us, check out the resources out there and discover that sometimes the easiest step, the baby step, is exactly what your body and your brain are looking for. And that's what a wisdom coach helps you discover. Look forward to hearing your feedback on how the simple steps the easy steps can often make the biggest difference.